And now, Fox 13 meteorologist Valerie Mills with your Sky Tower radar forecast. Well, we are really turning on the rain machine this week for the Sunshine State. It's going to be pretty soggy, especially for southern areas up into central Florida. Here's a look at our rain totals already from what fell last night into this morning. We got a pretty decent round of rain, kind of this stretching from Sarasota, Bradenton areas, right across the state out to areas around Orlando. So that's kind of where we saw most of the rain move through into the overnight hours. And overall, we're going to be talking more of these on and off tropical downtown downpours, some storms at times, not a very big severe threat for us. So it's really more of these heavy rains and these beneficial much needed rains and especially for the kind of half of the state that really needs it. As we take a look at the big picture here, we have a stalled out front that kind of stretches all the way from the East Coast, slices through the Panhandle and kind of hovers then across the Gulf Coast right on through parts of Louisiana as well as Texas. The factor of this front is that the winds on the south side of it are really going to help kind of pull in and funnel all of this very deep tropical moisture where we see all these red colors here that's really going to just kind of spill in over the state so we started to see it yesterday we, this is kind of our first hit of all of this tropical moisture so that's what's going to lead to these downpours here especially for the southwest coast southern edge of the state is where we're really going to see most of the beneficial moisture sit but notice right around central florida that's where the cutoff will be so generally our rain chances will kind of taper off as as we head to areas north of the bay. But look at your future cast. We'll put this in play here. So I think by around 9 o'clock, we'll get another round of some heavy rain setting up for our southern spots. Areas around the bay, likely by the mid-morning hours, we'll start to see some of those downpours moving in. So we've had kind of a break over the last two hours or so. Things could start to get messy as people are heading on their way to work. Into the afternoon hours, we'll still be dealing with these pretty decent downpours, especially heaviest south of I-4. But pause here at noon. We'll start to see some of those kind of drifting off to the north of the Bay Area. So Crystal River, Brooksville, Newport Ritchie, they're also going to see some rain and some storms into the afternoon evening hours. So even this is a widespread rain event, it's not going to be raining constantly today or the next couple of days. It's more of these on and off heavy rounds of rain and storms that will get through the day and even through tonight. A break tonight, more on the way for tomorrow. So as for your day planner for today, temperatures really going to be limited to the low and mid 80s. That is thanks to just the clouds, the rainy conditions that we'll have pretty much all day. So most of the area maxes out in the mid 80s today, a couple of upper 80s, but temperatures much cooler. Finally, some heat relief coming as we have kind of flipped the script from the hot to at least the rainy season here. More of this tropical moisture going to feed in for several days. We'll kind of be stuck in this pattern here with the stalled front really helping to just continue to pump in all of that moisture. The winds really just going to aid in that to be heaviest for southern parts of the state. That's where our flood watch is in effect. So for today, not talking any flood concerns for us, but as we start to see the rain ramp up today, we'll see how soils respond. Maybe we'll be talking about some flooding concerns over the next coming days as here's a look at our rain totals. Now this is through the end of the event. So this is going to be several days of accumulating rain. But we're generally talking about three to six inches to be likely here for the Bay Area through the end of the week. Four to eight as we head just south of Tampa Bay and up to a foot will be possible around Miami and Naples areas. As for anything tropical in nature, that won't develop into anything tropical. We still have some pretty decent wind shear out in the Gulf. So that'll tear apart any potential for that to gain any tropical characteristics. And the Atlantic still quiet. So some good news there. No tropical concerns. As for our marine forecast today, pretty rough out on the seas, 2 to 5 feet. Moderate chop on the bay. South winds about 10 to 15 knots there. Gulf temp nearly 90 degrees. Warm on the water. But at least a couple of days here in the upper 80s will feel pretty nice. Walter?